And once again, welcome back to Philly Sports Spotlight, where we now focus our attention on some college football and more specifically Penn State. Now the Nittany Lions, of course, coming off a season of adjustment as they still try to pull themselves out of the shadows of the whole Jerry Sandusky situation and sanctions by the NCAA. Kudos, though, to new head coach Bill O'Brien, who held things together last season while leading Penn State to an 8 and 4 record. But as the program moves forward, the Nittany Lions proving that there is indeed strength in numbers. Hey, glad you guys are here. Craig Fitzgerald, head strength coach, Penn State football. Great having you in the house of our players built last year. Come on over. Let's show where we get started. All right, guys, this is what our players do. They come through that great training room from the locker room. They get there, we get hydrated, and it's time to train. So I'm going to show you all about our weight room. Over here, our players will come in. They always start doing some massage. We use a good hard PVC pipe. Get in there, get those muscles activated, ready to train. We have bands to stretch with. We got our guys always limbered up before we start lifting weights. So we're in here, we got the roll, we got the band stretch, we're getting ready to go. And then, most important muscle we train is the neck. So if you look at this, we create our own neck training device right here. We train that first, most important muscle to make sure, make sure that's strong injury free, all right? Then we have these great power racks. These things were built just for us. We customize these for our players. Any barbell movement you could ever think of is done here. It's the safest way to do it because you have a safety catcher right here. So injury prevention and performance enhancement are the keys here. Every tool is at our fingertips. Dumbbells all change. Okay, we can go from low to a higher weight very fast. Put them back. There's a med ball here. We got great walls here. We can throw the med balls at landmines to put the barbells in. Right in that hole there, do all sorts of rows, rotational work for our core. The platforms, they're inlaid in the ground. So we can do all sorts of mobility drills, agility drills in here, all sorts of flexibility stations in here because the floor is all one surface. Nothing's up, nothing's down. As we keep moving, we have a bridge that connects each rack to each other. We'll suspend them, do core, do leg raises, use these straps right here, do rollouts, raise them up, do pull-ups, lower them, do dips, do all sorts of shoulder stabilization drills and you know all sorts of intervention drills with our shoulder girdle that we couldn't do without those. We have straps on each set of racks. We have grip work, okay, jerseys. You're grabbing jerseys on the field, we're grabbing them in here. We have balls right here, doing some extra work. So we've come up with an approach. We can flash the workout on all these TVs right there. You know, it's a one-arm med ball ground push-up with some type of strap glute activation exercise for our guys. The guys can see those, say, okay, here's what he wants. Let's go. They know exactly what to do. As we go, hey, listen, you know, we got, we got to get kind of multidimensional here, okay? We got the boxing station. We got a heavy bag. So our players are done. We encourage them not to run back in the locker room. We want to encourage them to hang out do some extra work or come back if they want. We're always here, okay? We want our guys to feel good about coming back and have a lot of tools to use. Computer hooks up to all these screens. And we'll run our tunes off here. You can't have a great training session without great tunes, right? We crank it up. Coach O'Brien loves a live weight room. Coach O'Brien's quotes are all over the wall. You know, first one's graduate, right there. First quote that went up. Okay, this year, 2013, that's what it's all about. It's about team first. Honesty, hard work, finish. Be the best, hair on fire, work to win, and probably the best one, get after it. The weight room is great right now as we're doing the tour. You know what? It's even better when you guys are in here. And that's the best time to be in here because you're going to see guys get after it. So as we move over here, something we like to do is have competition all the time. We do it by team. That's the first most important one. Who are our fastest 40-yard dash guys? Fastest NFL shuttle guys, fastest vertical, fastest broad jump, biggest squat, biggest bench, biggest power clean, and, you know, best pound for pound guys. We max out twice a year. We max out in March, max out in July. And our guys, they want to know what it takes to get on that board. Only the top three get up there at each position. Only the top three on the team. We want guys that want that. Other thing about the board, if you look at the categories, we're getting ready for playing football at Penn State, but as a side benefit, guess what else we're getting ready for? We're getting ready for your pro day, your NFL combine. We tested them, we rank them, and we measure them, and guess what? You guys get excellent at them. So when it's time to do it for the money, you're ready to go. Guys, thanks for coming in. 
Love to have you back. The, again, the best time to be in here is when it's live, and that's when the best part of this weight room is in here, and that's our players. Hopefully you join them. Today, we gotta take the next level. All I know is I, I think I got a little extra work to do tonight at the gym. Anyway, Penn State, of course, getting ready for the season opener. It's going to be up at East Rutherford, New Jersey, MetLife Stadium. They're going to take on Syracuse for their opener and then a couple of non-conference games before they open up their conference schedule against Indiana. And then look at this back-to-back, -back, uh, Michigan, Ohio State, and uh, you see Nebraska on there. Of course, Nebraska now a member of the Big Ten, and they finish up at Wisconsin. That, of course, is the Penn State schedule, and here's hoping they can match last year's record of 8-4. By the way, Quick follow-up to the Penn State sanction situation. A Penn State Board of Trustee member recently filed an appeal with the NCAA regarding said sanctions, stating that uh, former university president Rodney Erickson had no authority to sign and agree with the NCAA and that that uh, rule should be null and void because he lacked that legal authority. Stay tuned for that one. We'll see uh, what's going to happen. Of course, they're trying to get some of those sanctions lifted. All right, time to take our second break. When we return, the Temple Owls give us a tour of their newly renovated practice facilities. 